Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. I'm Ryan Beach, and in today's video, I thought it might be kind of interesting for me to edit the video that I'm going to release for Beach Etude number 17, but to let you guys see what I'm doing and kind of walk you through how I do it so you can see what it looks like to get the right color in the video and get the music on the screen and things like that. Putting together a video like this is actually pretty simple. I'm not sure how complicated it seems, but I promise it's not really that difficult to do. Uh, I use Final Cut Pro because it came on my iMac when I bought it, but if you don't have an iMac or you don't want to spend money or you can't can't spend money on an editing software, you can use things like iMovie or DaVinci Resolve, which are free programs that will be able to do the same thing. I'm gonna share my full recording of Beach 17 at the end of this video, but if that's all you're here for, you just wanna hear the recording and move on with your day, feel free to skip ahead and take a listen, no worries. All right, so you can see we are here in Final Cut Pro. I have a project that I've put together for Beach 17. I have the audio that I made with my Golden Age MK3 ribbon microphone. And then I have the video from my Canon 6D Mark II. I do the video and the audio separately because the audio from a camera, while okay, is not gonna be nearly as good as the ribbon microphone. So I do them separately and I actually pair them together. And so that's gonna be the first step we do. We're gonna highlight both of these things. We're gonna right click and we're gonna synchronize the clips. I usually name it the name of the etude and I hit AV for audio visual so I know that these are the things put together and it's just gonna sync those two things up. So now this clip right here has the audio from my microphone and the video from my camera. And so you'll be able to hear this hopefully. All right, so this is a good start. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag an adjustment layer on there. If you don't have an adjustment layer, it's fine. You can drag the things that I'm gonna drag directly onto the clip. Uh, but I'm gonna first add a LUT. All I'm gonna do, you can see that the this is kind of desaturated. The image is a little desaturated because that's the color profile I shoot in. And now I just need to add the color back in. So we are going to grab the LUT, custom LUT up here and then I'm going to uh, change that up and just pull some of the saturation. And that looks pretty good. The next thing I'm going to do, and again, this is just my workflow. You'll have to figure out your own workflow, but I like to raise the master a little bit. And then I'm going to put the shadows or the, you know, the darkest parts of the image back in there. And then I'm going to raise the lightest parts of the image a little bit. Now we've added the color with the LUT and then I brightened it up just slightly for uh, with this color wheel right here. The next thing I need to do, because you can see my pajamas in this shot, is I'm going to zoom in just a little bit here, crop in just a little bit. I usually shoot wide and crop, so I have some options to do some neat things. And then I'll put it about here because I know the music is gonna be at the bottom of the screen. That looks good right there. And then the last thing is, we'll listen to just a second. You'll hear there's no reverb on it. And so what I wanna do is grab a little bit of reverb from space. I just use this large room one and I pull it way down. If you've heard other videos, you know how this sounds. It just adds a little tiny bit of reverb, so it's a little bit more listenable as a full performance. So now what I'll do is I'll make this a compound clip and I'll say it's B17CC for color corrected and we hit OK. So now we have this clip right here that's color corrected and the next thing I'll do is I'm going to drag the music on and I'm going to drag it the entire length of the clip and you can see that it's taking, because it's on top here, it's taking up the whole entire screen. So I'll start by cropping the left side a little bit and then cropping the right side a little bit and cropping the top. I usually go to the second line because it's easier to get a sense of how big to make the crop. And then I have this last. So now we've got what'll appear on the bottom. You drag it down here and then you make it big enough to take up the whole entire uh, screen here, the bottom of the screen. 
and then you drag it to the bottom and voila, you have the music on the screen. So obviously, as you can tell, this is not correct. The music on the screen is just going to be the same thing. So now we have to get it to reflect what the music actually is. So I'm gonna click here, I'm gonna go to crop and you can see now it's got this little circle around it or these, these boxes, I guess, around it. And I'm gonna hit command and I'm going to drag the music down. And so now we have the beginning of the etude and now we just give it a listen. Okay, we're coming up, ready? Blade tool. So I bladed it right when the music changed. You hit command and then you drag it up and there we go. We keep going. Right there. Okay, command and we're gonna drag it up. Keep going. All right, I'm just gonna speed the rest of this up so you don't have to watch me do this whole thing. Good. So now we're at the end. Okay, the next step is going to be to select all of this. You put all of this into a compound clip, maybe name it B17 with music. And now we have this singular clip. So the next thing to do is you're going to trim up the ends here. And then I usually like to make it, you know, slightly more dramatic. So I'm going to add a uh, fade in. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I just do 24 frames, do that, drag it here. So then when we see it, look at that, kind of nice. You go to the end, you pick about where it ends. Select there, you're gonna put a keyframe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. That will add up to be a second and a half. And then, Look at that. And there we have it. The final thing I might do is I'll search through these various titles I have and think, okay, you know, do I want to add one of these things for the title of it? Sometimes I've done it. One of my favorite ones is there's a minimal one over here, right here. You know, so you would go and you drag that there and then go here, type in Etude number 17 and then Marcel Beach. And then when we go look at it, you know, we want it to be here. We want it to be a little bit bigger like that. And then was, well, zoom in here like this. And then there we go something like that. So that's gonna be all for this tutorial side of things. I hope that this is something that you can take and incorporate into the videos you make to just make them a little bit more professional looking. I think it's worth it to go through this effort because we can learn how to do some of these things. We can work with lighting, we can work with audio and try to present it in a unique way instead of just sort of turning on our camera and just whatever it looks like is whatever it looks like. If you're interested in me doing a video where I talk about my lighting setup and where I put the camera and the microphone and how I go through the process more in depth, let me know down below in the comments and I would love to put together a video like that for you. Here is the performance of Beach 17. I hope you enjoy.